everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Well, it is December, we are a couple of days away from Christmas, and you know what that means. It's time for a good Wishmas haul! Heh, <laughs> punny. Because I suck at being a YouTuber, it didn't really occur to me to place my Wish order for Christmas back in like October or November. See, if you're new to Wish, don't expect to get anything in a timely manner. Stuff normally comes after like three or four weeks, or sometimes two months, or sometimes one year later. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I was like, oh yeah. I better do a Christmas haul video. That's, that's something that YouTubers do, right? So I went on Wish and I typed in Christmas decor, but it was all estimated to arrive in Australia in January and some of the items in February. But if you didn't know, there is an option on Wish that says Express Shipping. So you can click the little Express Shipping tab and then you can type in the products that you want and it'll show you just products that have express shipping. So I spent about, I think it was about $500 or something, and I bought a whole bunch of Christmas stuff, got all of it with express shipping. Now the shipping is the reason that the price came up so high. Some of the items, the shipping was like $20 and $30 to get it to me with express, but uh, half of the stuff got canceled. I kept getting these emails saying, sorry, your item has been refunded. And I guess it's something to do with the fact that they couldn't get it to me on time, so they refunded it, I don't know. Anyway, a couple of the items did arrive, so uh, I'll walk you through them. So the first thing that I picked up was, of course, a Christmas tree. Now, I'm filming this today, it is uh, December 20th, and uh, I haven't put up a Christmas tree yet. Christmas is in like five days and uh, I haven't put up a Christmas tree. I'm sorry, I'm so, this is Archie's second Christmas. I am not being a very good mother, am I? I do have a Christmas tree. It's uh, downstairs in our garage, but I was like, no, I can't set that one up because I ordered one off Wish. I gotta set that one up. So that one arrived yesterday, luckily for me. So we get at least, what, what, four days of Christmas tree? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a terrible parent. I picked up some fairy lights, or Christmas lights, or whatever you want to call them. I really, really hope that these have an Australian adapter, fingers crossed. Oh, and best of all, no, actually, I'm not going to, I'm not going to show you the best thing, because I want it to be a surprise. So with that, let's pull out the stuff. I know this lighting situation isn't ideal, but I'm filming this in this room instead of my usual filming setup, because, I mean, I'm not going to put the Christmas tree in my wardrobe. First things first. We have a Christmas tree. Now, this is 50 US dollars. I think that's a bit for a Christmas tree. I'm pretty sure you can go to Target and get them for like 30, or maybe I'm imagining it. I don't know, I've never, I've never actually bought a Christmas tree. It's just something that's always just been like hovering around in my family's home. So I don't know, is $50 okay for a Christmas tree? If it's good quality, maybe it's okay. So it says that it is 1.8 meters tall. Now that's about as tall as me, so I think. I think. Am I 1.8 meters? Yeah, something like that. Now when this arrived, it is like absolutely beaten up, beaten to a pulp, a bit like me in high school. Archie, can you please not? Archie's obsessed with this sweater. This is a uh, swipe right. I kind of wish it said subscribe. But uh, this is from Dolls Kill. This Christmas sweater haul video from Dolls Kill will be up tomorrow. If you're watching this in the future, the link is in the description. If you're watching this when I post it, don't forget to hit the notification bell so then you know when I post my ugly Christmas sweater haul. Before I set up this Christmas tree, I, I just wanna say, <laughs> look at the listing. Wait for it. Do you see it? $750 it reckons this Christmas tree is valued at. So, maybe it sprouts gold bars, I'm not sure. Or almonds. Now this came in three different color options. We had white, pink, which is the one that I wanted, and green. Now the problem here was that because I selected express shipping, the only one that had express shipping available was the white one. But you know what, maybe next year I'll go for a pink one. I have always wanted a pink Christmas tree, or I could always just spray paint this pink. Maybe, maybe that's a DIY project for the future. Anyway, let's get this set up. So we have a little base here. Uh, the base seems to come with a couple of screws. If I put my hair there, 
you can't chew on the bauble anymore. Okay, let's jump into this. I was guessing that these little screw things were supposed to screw into the holes on the base here, but uh, it's not doing anything. Instructions weren't clear. Archie, do you know what I'm supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, Archie? No, I don't think I meant to chew on it. It'd make sense if this had holes in it for these to screw into, but there's no holes on the tree itself. Uh, there's just holes on the base. So I think I'm just gonna have to leave it like slotted in like that. I think that's, that's the best we can do, isn't it, Archie? Archie, do you think it could help? Thanks. I think I did it wrong. I think I put the middle piece on first. Maybe that's why it wasn't screwing in properly. <laughs> I'm not qualified to do this. No, no, not for you, no. I know it's a, a fun family activity to set up a Christmas tree, you know, when you, your kids can help, but it's not much use when your kid doesn't have thumbs. Well, that's about all I have the patience for. So, uh, on to the next part. Next up, now this is something that I had never seen before until I was looking on Wish, and then I was like, wow, what a great idea. Why didn't I use one of these sooner? This seems to be some sort of base for the Christmas tree. It's green. Now this was nine US dollars, down from 32. There it is, it's just a, a giant circle. And I guess you just, I mean, I, I'm not entirely sure what the point of it is. I have never seen one of these before until I was looking on Wish. Is it to keep the floor clean? Is it to just put the presents on? I, I'm not entirely sure, but hey, hey. No. Stop nibbling my balls! So, looks like it just connects with Velcro, like that. Does it go above the stand? I guess it does. Oh! Oh! Is the point of it that it covers the stand? Well, that's probably it. Am I doing it right? Am I Christmasing right? Please tell me, am I doing this wrong? I mean, I kind of feel like it was meant to sit flat on the ground, right? No, that can't be right. I don't know. All right, now I've been thinking that the background here is a little bit too bright, seeing as it's just the curtain and the bright light outside. So luckily I picked up a little bit of a photography backdrop. Now this is $8. It says seven by five feet, glisten Christmas tree, photography background studio, photo Xmas backdrop. Down from 70 US dollars to eight. What a bargain. It's very unusual material. It kind of feels a bit like a, a picnic rug, maybe. It's just plastic. Wait, which way is up? I think it's like that. Okay, now I just have to figure out some way. Now I just have to figure out some way to hang this up, maybe with clips or something, I'll figure it out. And we're back. Uh, I feel a little bit like a, uh, a budget news anchor right now with this Wish backdrop, but hey, I actually really, really like it. I have it in front of the curtain, so the light is shining through and it kind of makes the little fairy lights up on the tree look like they're lit up. So they are so, I'm really, really happy. That's a, a very pleasant surprise. Next up, this wouldn't be a Christmas decor haul without some proper decor. So this is a seat cover. This just fell out of the parcel. Look at you. What's that? Okay, so this was eight US dollars. It's a little Santa 
and he basically just sits over the top of the back of the chair, I guess. Now, I think it's probably supposed to face outwards instead of in. I don't think your back is meant to squash his face. So we'll pop him on the chair that I'm sitting on. Oh. No, 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 don't go for the eyes. Now, this doesn't work so well with my chairs because our chairs have like a very extreme lean on the back of it. Hi. Our chairs lean in a very sort of extreme way, so he's kind of like facing the floor when I put the chair down, but that's what he looks like. There you go. Excuse me, that's, that's not for you. No, not for you. It's not an egg. No, no. Okay, now it wouldn't be Christmas without some Christmas lights. So I have two boxes here. Now, there was one lot that was $26 and another lot that was $30. Now, one lot is supposed to be like string lights that drop down like this. The other lot appears to just be like a very, very long, it's called a hundred meters apparently of light. What are you doing? Now, just from looking at the boxes, I can't tell which is which, but the first thing I saw when I opened it, there is an Australian adapter. Now, I'm very surprised because, you know, a lot of products from Wish, well, they're from China, but I guess because this was express shipping, maybe they have a warehouse in Australia or something, so they knew to give me an Australian plug because I have an Australian address, I don't know, but I'm very, very pleasantly surprised about that. That's a pretty solid chunk of lights. Both sets are meant to be waterproof. Hey, I don't think they're bird proof or beak proof, so you stay away. No, you stay away. All right, so these aren't drop lights. These are just like a straight string light. So these ones can go on the tree. So let's put these up now. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let, no. This is a hundred meters apparently. I'm gonna wrap it around the Christmas tree, but then I might actually like just put it up and around the walls and stuff like that. I mean, they should probably go outside, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna set them up in here. I think I probably <laughs> am a bit in over my head here with a hundred meters worth of lights. So just give me a couple of weeks and I'll be back. One hour later. This is not going as expected. That is a lot of Christmas lights uh, and there's only one of me and I'm having a very, very difficult time. So yeah, I'll get back to you. One week later. All right, well, it's been approximately five years and uh, I still haven't been able to untangle these. I've put about three or four meters of it up on the tree. Uh, the rest, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna give up. So now it's time for the moment of truth. Will they actually work? And I probably should have checked that before I went to the 12 years effort of trying to untangle them. But uh, yeah, let's plug them in. Uh, we don't want any electrocuted birdies, so you can go away for a minute. I thought it would be funny to like cover myself in this and then, you know, plug it in and turn it on and, you know, I'd be all lit up like a Christmas tree. But there is a very, very small part of me that's kind of concerned that if I plug this in, it'll just electrocute me. I guess that's the part of me that doesn't entirely trust Wish. Maybe I won't do that. Okay. Moment of truth. <laughs> Excellent, they work. Uh, there's a hundred meters of them. They look beautiful. They're very, very tangled. Maybe tune in for another video later in the week once I've figured out how to untangle them. Sam's just had a genius idea on how we can very, very neatly wrap up all of the fairy lights. <laughs> oh my God. So next up, we have the $30 lights. I believe these are the $30 ones. So these ones are drop lights. So there's a whole bunch of little mini strands and all of the strands are separated. They've got little ties on them. So hopefully this one won't take anywhere near as long as that one. Cause I think that this is six meters versus a hundred. So uh, we'll see how we go. Okay guys, bit of an update. So this one is 
a lot longer than I thought. So you can see each of those little bunches there is a string light that hangs down. But look how long it is, like it just goes on and on and on and on. So I originally wanted to hang it up at my backdrop, sort of behind me while I was filming. But there's just too much of it, like it just goes on for too long. So I think I might have to put this outside. I'll set it up out there and then we'll revisit it later. Okay, well, we've had a bit of a Christmas catastrophe. Uh, we started to put them up and half of them work, uh, but half of them don't. So halfway along the string, they just kind of like bugger out. So this is, I mean, so you can see, this is what they look like. I haven't let those ones down yet because I figured it'll all just get like really, really messy, like tentacles everywhere. So I've just kind of left them like that. But this is how long, it's like each string is really, really, really long. They would have been really, really good. But anyway, what I ended up doing, I contacted Wish and I said, oh, look, they're not working. Like half of them don't work. And they asked me to send them a photo. So I took a photo of it and they gave me a refund. I think the problem is that there's a little bit of a frayed wire up there somewhere. I can't remember where it is. So that's, that's basically it. But uh, aside from that, these, I think what I'm gonna do is head back inside. I'm gonna try and set up those 100 meter ones on the Christmas tree and I might put some decorations on and then we'll have a look at the very last item, which is an LED projector. Now I've opened this one up already because I wasn't sure if it would have batteries with it or not. It did come with a single battery. It's not a standard battery. It's like a really weird random battery and I'm glad that it came with it because I have no idea where you'd buy a battery like that. It is this projector and it looks like a torch. So it came with this little tripod, came with this, and like I said about the battery, it's this really, really big, unusual battery. So that seems to be a rechargeable one. And it also came with this cord. It's got a USB on one end and then you just plug it in so you can recharge it. Now, it also came with, I think there's 12 of these. These are all little sort of projector plates. So each one has four different designs on it. There's one in here already. You just pull it like that, you pull that out. And then this one, so I can see here, there's a Christmas tree, a snowman, uh, some bells and a Santa. There you go. So the closer that you are to the, to the wall, the smaller the shapes, and then the further you get, the bigger they get. So I'm gonna put this over on the table in front of me and give you a proper look. So there's two options. If you press the button once, the shapes just kind of stay in the one spot. But then if you press it a second time, it rotates and they move around. So this is, uh, you can see, there's the snowman, uh, the Santa, the, wait, uh, Christmas tree, and the bells. Oh, so they're not just Christmas. This one looks like party things. So there's a cake and balloons and a pinata. There's, what's this one? Oh, this one is for St. Patrick's Day. So there's a, a pot of gold, uh, a hat, a green jug of beer and a four leaf clover. This one is, oh, Easter. Okay, there you go, Easter. Uh, these ones are roses. This is for Halloween. So there's a ghost, a witch, pumpkins. This one is, this is just girly stuff. So this, this is right up my alley. I'll put this one in. So high heels, a bottle of perfume, a, a sale shopping trolley, and oh, and some lipstick. So that's, that's uh, my channel to a T. <laughs> this one is Thanksgiving. There's a turkey, some, I don't know, a roast, a pumpkin. These are clowns. Let's never speak of that one again. And snowflakes. Oh, I'll put this one in. This is very Christmassy. For only $17, this is the perfect way to throw a Christmas themed rave. So you guys might have noticed I have sort of fixed up the tree a little bit. I took all 100 meters of those lights and I wrapped them all the way around this tree. These are all little decorations from my local dollar store. Every single thing on this tree cost about one or two dollars. They're all from the dollar store. There's a little owl, there's little birds, I've put little birds, there's feathers. So I tried to make it kind of like a, a bird themed tree. Do you approve, Archie? Do you like it? It's because it's not green, it's not green. Oh, and there is one last thing that I want to show you guys from a very, very special guest that you may have seen back when I was having my rave, and that would be Santa himself. <laughs> Oh. Bend down. Archie, you 
been a very naughty boy this year. You'll get two hours. Sam's Santa suit is an inflatable Santa suit. Care to demonstrate? You're looking a little bit malnourished there. Give me a bit of time. It takes a bit to get going. <laughs> Oh, 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 your bum is about to knock over the tree. <laughs> Stop. Well, uh, Sam's Santa suit is also from Wish. Uh, this made a starring role in one of his videos over on his channel. Uh, do you remember how much this was? Um, thirty dollary dues, thereabouts. Alright guys, that's it. That's everything. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye out for my next few Christmas videos that are coming up. It's just a few days now until Christmas. So for those of you that celebrate, I hope you have a fantastic holiday. For those of you that don't celebrate, hope you have a great December and a happy new year as well. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Okay, cool. Thanks guys. Gee, such a shame we couldn't find any pegs. A Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night.